Hey guys, it's Alex, and for Christmas I decided I'd do something that I don't really do on my channel a lot, and that is a shoutouts video. I don't tend to do a lot of these just because I always feel bad when I do them, like I'm leaving people out even when that's sort of the point of a shoutouts video, that you're only talking about an exclusive few, but I did decide to just sort of put that aside and do a shoutouts video today for four lovely people whose channels I absolutely love. All of them will be linked down below, so please do go check them out. The first person I have to talk about is Linda's World of Books. She's probably one of my absolute favorites to watch, and I'm always so excited to see a new video from her. She reads a great variety of adult and YA with both fantasy and realistic fiction, which I absolutely love. Finding all of that in one booktuber can be kind of a struggle, I've found, and it's one of my favorite things about her channel. We don't necessarily agree on all the books, but it's so nice to see someone who reads a similar variety of genres as I do. Linda is also such a calm presence on screen, and there's something so pleasing about listening to her discuss books. Super energetic booktubers can be a lot for me, so that makes her quiet and relaxed videos some of my favorite to watch. She always has lovely things to say, and she just comes across as one of the nicest people I've met on here. And I very much enjoyed this book and can't wait to get to Vengeful. Unfortunately, that will have to wait for a little bit, but um, I do love everything that uh, V. Schwab writes, and this was no exception. I enjoyed this tremendously, and as I said, can't wait to the next one. Next is Jordan from The Lost Reader. She reads a lot of YA, both contemporary and fantasy, although I think fantasy is her favorite. She adores Disney and retellings, so if you enjoy retellings of any kind, Jordan is definitely your girl. I don't know if I've ever watched a video of hers where she doesn't mention a retelling or Disney in some way. Earlier this year, she even co-hosted the Fairy Tailathon, and I believe they're planning a round two sometime in January or February. She often films vlogs as well, and we get to see her dog and cat, who are both the most adorable things. Her videos are always super positive and upbeat, and she's just one of those people who makes you happy to watch. Hey, bye, just still enjoyed the story anyway. I only have a minor problems with it, but it was still an enjoyable read. The next one I've read is Sea Witch by Sarah Henning. This is becoming one of my favorite books this year. I could not put it down. I've read it within three days. I'm just happy that I really enjoyed it. This was one of my and most of it is a pay of releases of this year. And we have Abby from Autumn of Pelennor. Every time I mention Abby, I always bring up the books of Pelennor, which is one of our favorite series, but I promise that's not the only reason I'm mentioning her. She's an absolutely lovely person. Abby reads a lot of YA, but she's also quite the fan of nonfiction and historical fiction, as well as the genre I like to call anything to do with Nazi Germany, which we also have in common. She loves doing tons of tag videos on her channel and talking about a variety of books that she's read both recently and in the past. And she pre-films like no one I've ever seen. It's incredibly impressive. She's currently getting her master's in something like geology or geography, one of those geos that I don't exactly remember at the moment, and she's bullying her flatmate into reading as well, which I think we can all support on here. She has a wonderful presence on camera and is just one of those people who seems like she'd be exactly the same off screen as she is on. It's a long series. B. Best sequel ever. For me, I'm going to say Catching Fire because I absolutely adored the second round of The Hunger Games. I just thought it was done so well and yeah, I really loved this. An oldie but a goodie. And the final person I have to talk about is Abby MacReads. Abby is a fantastic person and one of my best booktube friends and the co-host in the 2019 Rereadathon. We've so far done two buddy reads together and both have been a really great experience. Abby is a big reader of historical fiction and classics and she also enjoys sci-fi although she's recently been branching out into a bit of YA. She's also lately set up a green screen to film in front of so every video she has a different library behind her and they're all absolutely gorgeous. She also does fantastically hilarious tags with her boyfriend, Spencer, even though he's not much of a reader. She's one of the most caring people I've come across here and one of the easiest to talk to. She's so supportive and always makes sure no one feels left out or ignored.
The first is The Shadowless by Rin Chupeco, I hope I'm pronouncing that right, which is out on the 5th of March, and it is the last in the trilogy of the Bone Witch trilogy. I hope you guys go check out all four of their channels. They're absolutely lovely, and they definitely all deserve more subscribers than they have. As always, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see y'all again soon.